They're like... Little balls of fluff. They got these long ears and... Those big round eyes. That fluffy little tail and that tiny little mouth. And overall they're just absolutely adorable. Just makes you want to take care of them. Or at least... I do. I don't know, I, I guess it's just that I enjoy taking care of things, of little creatures. I suppose it's just a maternal instinct or something like that. Of course, growing up, not everyone retains that interest of taking care of animals, but I personally still do. I've owned them ever since I was little. Even back when I was really small, we already had a rabbit. I don't really remember much about him, seeing how he passed away when I was just two years old or so, but when I was four, we adopted a new bunny named Pepper. Pepper was a very, very sweet bunny. Uh, he never bit or scratched any of us. Though, looking back, I do have to admit that we didn't really take that good of care of him. Because throughout his life, he was kept in this very small hutch. He rarely got to go outside, and his diet was pretty poor. Pepper unfortunately grew exceptionally old despite his poor living conditions. And knowing what I know now, I feel quite guilty about that. And that's why I decided I wanted to give Bailey and Fudge the best possible life I could offer them. I kind of wanted to make it up to Pepper. I really didn't want to put any other bunnies through those same awful living conditions. They deserve so much better than that. Bailey's death came very sudden. Something we totally did not expect, because he was only about four years old and we literally did everything we possibly could to try and treat him. But unfortunately, he just happened to have a very, very weak immune system, which sadly cut his life short. Too short. The world can be very unfair and ruthless sometimes, but that's life. And someday, somehow, you got to learn how to cope with that. But on the other hand, that goes to show how much we should treasure the time we actually do get to spend with our pets. They're all very unique individuals, each with their own personality, and the same actually goes for rabbits. I know it's kind of weird to think about it, because you think like, oh, it's just a small little rodent type of animal. How could that creature possibly have a personality? But they all do. A Pepper, for example, like I mentioned earlier, was a very docile and very calm little bunny. And he also didn't really mind to be petted. He just didn't really like to be picked up, but that's something a lot of bunnies share. Because it makes them feel very vulnerable. Uh, Bailey, on the other hand, though, was uh, <laughs> such a ball of energy. No, I'm serious, because it doesn't matter what you do, even if you're just standing inside the house, just looking out the window at the pen, Bailey would stare you down. Because he knows, like, oh, if I see a person outside the window, that means I'm gonna get food. So he'd stand on his hind legs and be like, Yes, come here. Feed me. Though at the same time, Bailey was also a bit of a scaredy cat. He was pretty clingy as well, cause you see, with bunnies there is a pecking order. And in this case, uh, Fudge is like the dominant bunny in their relationship, while Bailey is the more submissive one. Keeping two male bunnies together rarely works out uh, because of their aggressive nature and everything, but because Bailey and Fudge had known each other ever since they were very small, and Bailey being a pretty submissive bunny by nature, they got along great. 
Kind of having this cute little brother, big brother relationship. Despite being the dominant bunny, Fudge is still a very calm and loving little rabbit who very much enjoys being petted. Whenever I go to pet him, he actually licks my hand, which is like their form of giving kisses, meaning they love you, so I feel quite blessed. But besides that, he mostly sleeps throughout the day. A couple months after Bailey's passing, we ended up adopting a new bunny named Hazel, and her personality is very similar to Bailey's, honestly. Only that she's not as much of a scaredy cat as him, though I would say she's a little wilder than Bailey, cause sometimes she'll grunt if you get too close to her when she's eating. But besides that, she's a very happy and hyperactive little bunny who eats way more than she should. Like, because she's a young bunny, we figured like, oh, oh she'll, she's still growing, so she needs a lot of food. But recently she stopped growing, but she's still eating the same amount of food as when she was little. So she's still growing, but not in the right dimensions. Taking care of bunnies has definitely benefited me in one way or the other. I can't really pinpoint it or anything. I suppose it's simply something you can easily distract your mind with. It allows you to escape from the real world for just a brief moment. Just by spending time with rabbits, you kind of get to view the world from their perspective. How carefree they are and how they don't really give a crap about anything. Which is a valuable lesson we should all take to heart, I think. Good night, Bailey. I want to give a special shout out to Alpha, Matt, Lazaro Quintana Jr., Snow Comics, and Yan Yan for supporting me on Patreon. Thank you guys very much.